Hi there, it's Matt Case, and uh, I'm going to do the numbers on the market real quick. So, um, what we've got right now, uh, looking at the Traverse City market, is um, some real heat in the market, uh, a lot of demand, uh, lack of inventory. What we've seen so far year to date is uh, we've got 302 residential sales, 302 homes that have sold so far this year, and um, that compares to 263 homes that sold last year in the same period. So that's through February. Um, we've got, uh, what do we got? 39 additional homes that have sold this year versus last year. Now, what makes this more interesting that is that in this period of this year, we sold, uh, we listed 587 homes, okay? And in the same period last year, when we sold less homes, we listed far more homes, 743 listings last year. So we sold, we listed a whole lot more homes last year and sold fewer. Um, and so that starts to set up the uh, supply demand curve that we're seeing right now. Now, in addition to the active today's demand, um, the other thing that we're seeing is um, we've got some seasonality. So um, when we look at this first slide, what we're seeing is new listings coming on the market. Now this happens each and every year. So you can see a longer term trend going on here um, where the, um, the homes come on the market and it actually what you're seeing in the graph is that they're actually going to peak um, sometime in May. Um, so what we're already starting to see is setting up today, we've got lower inventory on the market, um, less homes being listed, just which is typical for this time of year. Um, but that's going to start to accelerate. So the first lesson we have right here is if you are considering selling your home, um, right now is a very opportune time to get it on the market. So we've been waiting for that spring market. It's really probably here today. Now, the second thing we see is that as we look across the last two years, the, it isn't just this last couple months that we've seen a decline in the total number of new homes coming on or new listings coming on the market, but that's been something that's been going on over the long term. We've got a longer term trend line of declining new listing uh, inventory coming on the market. Um, so then what we see next, if we look at this, is um, we're seeing uh, the solds, the, the, the seasonality of solds, and certainly is a dip uh, in the, the middle of the winter, um, and then they accelerate again through the summers. But it isn't nearly as pr so pronounced a, um, a seasonality in sales as it is in listings. So again, lesson here, um, listings are seasonal, uh, sales are not necessarily. So uh, don't get caught in the idea of waiting for that spring market. Um, and if you take these two things combined, what you see is the trend line for the number of sales is going up. That'd be the bottom line. And the uh, trend line for the number of listings is actually trending downward. So we're seeing that pinch that's represented by those two lines is the pinch that we're seeing in the market. And what that means is that right now what we have is declining overall inventory. So here's a two-year trend line showing the available inventory for sale in this, uh, this Traverse City region. Um, which would take in the five counties around Grand Traverse County, um, overall declining availability of inventory. And then would you take into account um, the time factor with this regarding the demand for homes and the, the rate at which new homes are selling, what we're seeing is month supply of inventory um, dropping off really significantly. So um, a couple of years ago, we were easily uh, running well above 18 months in um, month supply of inventory. The slide you're looking at right now <clears throat> is specifically or is taking in all property types, including vacant land. Um, when we take a look at um, residential specifically, 18 months ago, two years ago, we were, we were running um, well over a year's supply of inventory, meaning if nobody listed their house today, moving forward, it would take us a year and a half ago, it would have taken us at least a year to clear the current inventory. Where we stand today right now is that we're uh, well under six months of inventory. We're about 5.7 months of inventory, which means that um, there's much more demand in the market, um, which is starting to push average sale prices up. Market direction is showing that average and median sale prices are both rising. Last number I saw showed about a trend line of about eight and a half percent uh, increase in average sale price doesn't mean that every house um, is gaining that much part of this market mix. But what it does mean is that if uh, you were thinking of selling uh, a year or two years ago and found that the market just wouldn't support the sale of your home at that time, now 
uh, very well could be the time to get back on the market because the house may not be worth a lot more than it was then, but the buyer demand is going to be much stronger. Your chances of selling are much stronger as well. Um, final wrap, uh, just a, a note specific to Coldwell Banker Schmidt Realtors. We're currently running in about one of four successfully sold listings. So one in four successful listings um, is a Coldwell Banker Schmidt Realtors listing. Um, and we're also seeing that we're controlling a higher average list price to sale price ratio. In other words, we're getting our sellers a higher percentage of their listing price when we get to sale. It's, taking, uh, it's putting an additional at least $1,000 in our seller's pockets. So overall, great reasons to get on the market today. If you've talked to me in person, you've heard me say this. We really, really need inventory on the market today um, in the Grand Traverse region. Uh, it's specifically hot in, in the in-town uh, and closest to Traverse City. And then there are individual areas where it's really hot. But overall, for the region as a whole, for indeed for all of West Michigan, we're hearing that there is a demand for new listings on the market. If you've thought about it in the past and haven't done anything, if you know somebody that's thinking about selling, please do contact Coldwell Banker Schmidt Realtors agent. You can find us at cbgreatlakes.com. You can also click through from uh, this video, uh, contact me directly, and I will be more than happy to direct you to an agent in the local market that uh, can best serve your needs. Thanks so much for your time. Hope you learned something. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy the March sunshine.